I think what the intent of the WMBO is, is to not necessarily start an organization that is going to sponsor events right away. It's going to try and take over existing uh, organizations or, or, or develop competition for, for circuits or events that already exist. But what the WMBO's intent is, I think is to help bring some unity to where groups are across the world and in their development and help bring organizations along to the next level and help expose them to people and opportunities that they may not have had if the WMBO did not exist. Because what I've seen, especially uh, being in, in the United States where we, we've had a long history of the marching arts and have a lot of money and support behind it. So when the rest of the world looks to what marching bands can be, they tend to start with the United States and see where what everything that we're able to do and try and build their own organizations from that. So also knowing in the United States, there are a lot of groups that you don't see and a lot of organizations that you don't see that are very much at the developing level and very much trying to build to where the, the gold standard that you see from the top of DCI or WGI. So that's what I see when I travel across the world is that that's 99% of the world is not BOA finalists or DCI champions or WGI gold medalists. They are groups trying to come along and develop and everybody is in the same position, trying to get better and frustrated with how to get better or how to make contacts to help build their design or help their, how, how do I instruct or how do I run an event or how do I get groups to come to my competition? So the WMBO can help with that, uh, not come in to, to run events or start events, but help develop people and help develop organizations and help to train judges and help train circuit partners and site hosts and develop a standard that when we all watch YouTube videos across the world, we can see that groups learn from each other, learn from each other's successes, and also learn from each other's mistakes and how we can help run events better. So Kosin, does that kind of help explain why this organization needs to exist? Yes, 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 it's very clear. Yeah, precisely like that. So it's, uh, all of what Ron have mentioned is exactly why we're here, why we're standing here in front of everyone. So yes, we're gonna be discussing more of that and uh, all of the succeeding panelists and we're excited to hear about everyone else uh, sharing their side of what are what's happening in their side of Junker world and with WMBO that's what Ron said um, having the opportunity to travel not just in the main uh, in the US or in Netherlands those are the mainstream activities uh, having seen the, the rest of the drum corps world, the marching arts world, uh, we are able to have this idea of putting WMBO as the venue to connect. Basically, the main purpose is to provide network to everyone. So, yeah. That's the the exciting saying. thing for me in, in traveling is that the, the, the passion is there from everybody, from, from the, the poorer countries to the richer countries. Every time I see a kid perform, they have the same look on their face. They're excited to be doing what they're doing. They're excited to perform for people. Uh, no matter where they're at from, from a success level or an excellence level, it doesn't, that's not what it's about. It's about having opportunities to perform and having opportunities to get their product out there for others to see. And uh, I think in before technology, especially before COVID, we were so isolated in our own areas of the world. You had Southeast Asia, you had the United States, you had Europe, you, you had pockets of Central America, but we weren't able to bring those geographic areas together easily and able to help each other branch out and learn from areas outside of where we lived. And the WMBO can really help other people in other areas of the world benefit from what we're all doing well already. Thank you so much, Ron and Patricia. That's, that's the, it's the, I think everyone watching now that you can feel uh, what's the new organization, the World Marching Band Organization. That's what we try to do is the, that you, you can make sense that as cure something. I'm Patricia. Uh, I'm from the Philippines. I am the Secretary General of the AMBC, also handling their marketing and promotions. 
So just to give a little of background about who I am, uh, in the Philippines, I founded the Color Guard Alliance of the Philippines, and I'm uh, working hand-on-hand -hand together with City of Bacoor. They are the marching band capital of the Philippines. Um, it, just like everyone's story, actually, I'm kind of relating to, to Peter, to Paul, to Maria. We started uh, just... Uh, with the dream to expand and to give opportunities to the students here in the country to be able to get involved in the performing arts. And uh, the, the best thing that happened to us is being involved with international organization. You know, I met Cousin uh, Sehat through events like before we, we founded the AMBC, we have uh, met through WGI Asia, and then we have this. We have founded the AMBC the next year, and now we're doing WMBO. And I remember before I keep on saying that we're just actually watching DCI WGI YouTube videos. And back in 2018, uh, who would know that I would be able to travel to to championship and see it on myself, be there in the world. Uh, championship. It's it's like a representation of all of the kids, you know, just dreaming to be getting involved in this activity, and then you're finally there in the center of it. So to give back to the to to the arts, we wanted to also give this opportunity to everyone. Before, no one knows that there's an activity in the Philippines for for drum corps, for color guard, for marching band. Well, well, Filipinos are known for being a musically inclined, you know, globally, but who knows that we are we have color guard here, we are doing marching band here. But well, with this uh, network that we're opening right now, we are able to connect with you and then uh, hearing all of the stories, we are kind of similar, but still every time you hear how of us, each of us, trying to create this venue for the kids for us to grow it's still it oh it's it amazes me every time and that we're here we're actually in the center of this doing it in the moment so what that's what wmbo is about actually what what ron have said earlier that uh this is first of all is just giving a network to everyone connecting everyone uh showing everyone of what what are we doing for each side of the drum corps world and be able to collect that in the center and grow, provide more of this to others. Because like for us in, in the side, like for the Philippines, I'm sure uh, we will not, we will kind of be shy to approach, you know, the major leagues of the organizations to how, how we're gonna start, how, how are we gonna do this, but with what we're doing, every one of us, each and every one of us, it's, it's, I'm amazed, like, if I needed to uh, ask Paul or Ron or Cousin of any idea of how can I run my organization or my competition, they will just be there. And it, it helps us a lot to develop what we have now in the Philippines, what we have now in AMBC. And now we're providing this exact thing to WMBO. So like what Sehad is saying, in AMBC, um, we're, we're starting to grow bigger and bigger each year. We are, last 2019, we have about 23 countries. Uh, we started for about six or 10 of us, mostly in Southeast Asia. We have Malaysia, uh, Thailand, Philippines, uh, Indonesia, those are the, the usual players, you know, Japan, of course. And then now we have Russia, we have uh, from countries from the Middle East, or we have um, other countries in, in Asia, and we're able to create the ADC, the Asian Virtual Championship. And right now we're going towards the Asian Music Games. So it's kind of, a, a, you know, a good step for us to be able to still connect and like uh, what Peter is saying and Paul is saying, uh, with this new normal, we are able to expand more, you know, connect more even with the pandemic because music and marching arts is a global language. And that's basically what we're doing right now, connecting to everyone. And in, in AMBC mainly, we wanted not just, you know, we, Obviously, we, we draw uh, inspiration to, to the major organization and what's happening in the Western. But mainly, our goal is to promote the culture of what we have here in Asia, you know, to introduce you to what we have here in Asia, because you, you would see like 
oh, maybe they're doing the same things that what we're doing here in DCI and WGI, but Ron have seen it, Paul have seen it. They go here and they would be amazed like how we incorporate the culture of, of us in Asia to the shows, to what we love globally, like drum corps. And then you will see, oh, this is drum corps Thailand. This is drum corps Indonesia. You would feel the culture of it. So basically in AMBC, that's what we wanted to grow more of what we have here in Asia and provide opportunities for the small players like orga uh, organizers uh, to, to have more competitions. And, and that will go to providing more venues for our students to you know, uh, be involved in this performing arts. So we are very happy to be involved now with WMBO and expanding the network more with AMC. Yeah, thank you so much, Patricia and Sehat. It's the uh, it's the biggest information is uh, what the ABC can do. So, uh, follow our page, our website, wmbo.org, and follow our news and what we update. And if you ha have some some suggestion, you can come to us every time. And everyone in here, you can give the, some comments, some suggestion how we can develop it together. WMBO is the one organization that will help you and. And we need to develop a machine band a lot of work together. Everyone have something to say before we end the right now? I think Patricia I want to say something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was just uh, uh, asking. <laughs> it was just actually a message to Kalsin and Sehat. I was saying that maybe we can i know we are finished like the formals of it of the the program of this live but a while ago before we do the this live on facebook we were just talking back and forth about what is happening for each country and i think whoever is still uh watching right now would be happy you know just to have us extend a bit like a few minutes just us talking casually you know giving questions and uh, to each other of what so we can steer the conversation and uh, they can probably they can gonna be relating to us of whatever so that's what i'm just saying to the guys maybe it's starting from the situation of every country i think yeah yeah i, I mean like hearing uh what steve is saying what paul is saying it's it's very like for me i mean it's like i'm i'm back for being that kid who's just watching all of you guys basically and i cannot believe that i'm in here so i just wanted to give that also an inspiration to anyone you know uh well, we are saying a while ago that wmbo or or the organizations that we have is not just providing all competitions it's not just always competition we we wanted them to give an education um you know whatever it is like um i've been grateful enough to to be traveling and see just this side of the of of what we are having and now i'm super excited again it's it's been like personally for me i'm telling to to the friends a while ago it's been hard for me to be on lockdown on quarantine for a while because we've used to like traveling and just to connect with you i'm sorry if it's a bit personal but just to connect with you right now it's I, it makes me excited and happy again and uh, it reminds me of why we're here why we're doing this and it's just like that so it's kind of like a very uh happy moment for me right now that's what i'm just saying all right thank you Okay, okay, right. I'd like to say something to you. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I'm really, I wanted to say that I'm excited to see you again, Patricia, after you've been in an hospital. Uh, I was kind of worried about you. Um, and that I think that's also what makes us uh, connect is that, that this whole arts, the music arts or the visual arts connects us through this whole world. Uh, and I think Peter said it before, you know, even their language barriers. And I, it was funny, he said Venezuela, I just got out of a Zoom meeting with Venezuela with a the band there, which is very uh, challenging, not just of the, the language, but also the internet, internet capacity. So it was yeah. booming everywhere, bouncing everywhere. And uh, it was like a mixture of Spanish and English and, and anything in between. But the good thing is, once we sh we showed what we were doing, I saw a color guard there practicing. I saw a band practicing, and we immediately could relate to it. To it, 
because I knew I know what they were doing. They know what we were doing. And it didn't really matter what the level was. I mean, they're developing, but that wasn't really what the thing is. I just got excited seeing them practice uh, what, whatever we like, because we all love the same thing. And, and I think that is, uh, and I, in, our, in, the, in the time that I spoke about the European situation, I didn't really say anything about the pandemic, but we can't practice here at all up to for 2nd of March, we are able for the first time since half December to start practicing again. And we can only practice with uh, the youth under 18, they can practice inside and, and youth till 27 can practice outside. But we have a lot of bands that have members all age. Since we're not tied to schools, our band system is not tied on age, but on everybody. I mean, I've been in a band that I was the youngest and I was five, but next to me was the sousaphone player of 65. And that's a lot of bands in Europe are like that. Uh, so um, for, for us in Europe, this is a very hard time because only a small part of us are now, of the, as of the 2nd of March, are allowed to practice. But a huge part cannot. They can only watch the younger guys practice. So for us in Europe, this is hard times. But even having said that, we um, we try everything to um, to to do something. So we have this online competition, which I'm very excited about because it's it's a, it's a really worldwide competition now. With Patricia coming in from uh, with with a lot of groups from Philippines, individuals. Uh, I, I talked to Kozum, so we were some Thailand group, but the group from Venezuela is also part of it. And they, they are really now at this point, and uh, it was funny that you said this, Peter, but their color guard is practicing at this moment to, to join our competition. They've never done that, but they've seen it online and they wanted to do this. So it's really, that, that is showing me what, what this is all about. It's connecting. And it's not about, are you good or are you not good? Are you in the top or not? It's about connecting through that, that one thing we all love, and that's the arts. And I think that is really uh, what drives us, I think all of us. And, and I think that's where I get the energy from to, to join you guys here today. And in an, in an hour, I'm going to talk to another band in the other part of the world as, about the same things. And I think it's, this is great. I really am excited to see where this is going. With with Venezuela is what you're talking about um, because they also have some political challenges there as well as you as you as we all know um, but uh, you know I think what what's really um, from the from an early age um, uh, I remember my 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 core director Mr. Gail, Gail Royer which uh, he, he he was the one that started Santa Clara Vanguard said it's uh, it's really hard uh, to teach your craft if you don't have people there and the thing about about Latin America is that there's a lot of people there, so it's 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 um, it's great to show up so that they can all learn. And that's that's the, the difference between recruiting someone and and everybody already just being there. It's like show us something, show us what you got. So, but I think this is uh, Patricia. I just I just <laughs> I just love your passion. I think it's really really cool. Um, to see that, and I and I feel the same way when I when I um, have people in my circle, um, you know, uh, like-minded. So um, everybody was great meeting you. I'm gonna have to leave now, but I just wanted to say uh, um, I'm looking forward to to some really great things coming up ahead. Take care, right. you guys. Thank you. Bye, Pete. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, Pete. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right. I think we're uh, coming to the end now, and uh, thank you everyone that uh, come to join today and. Who, and who watching, you know, now we have the from the early morning and midnight now. We have we are different, the timing so on, and and the quick great opportunity that everyone can come, still can come together. And uh, really late now in the WP, I think your time is the almost 2 p.m. already, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's not easy to make everyone be coming to meeting to, together because we're in the same time. So it's it again, and thank you everyone so much. And thank you for who watching. Keep update with us for the WMBO. And uh, I, I want to say that this organization will start now and uh, we try to work hard to do something. That's, I, I have, I always have to say something, one word to say. I, I, now we need to do everything. That's 
what we see that important. Don't let people behind or they just uh, the kid from behind or us. Then they don't want to say you want first while you do not do not you not do anything for them. So now we try to, to do something really great and important for the next step of the marching band around the world. So please keep updated with us, the World Marching Band Organization, WMBO. And today we need to say thank you and goodbye. And bye-bye for everyone. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you thank so you. much to all of goodbye. you, to our panelists. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.